to another important issue that has now been gaining headlines all over again. Very high chances that if you are watching this, you at some point have recovered from COVID-19. Now, a CMC Vellore research has shown two important aspects to this. Indians have had more lung function damage when compared to Europeans and the Chinese. And the test in general found the population in India possibly more sick, higher on comorbidities when compared to the Chinese and the European. I'm being joined by Dr. DJ Christopher at this point, the principal investigator of this study. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Christopher, for joining us. Well, my first question, what are the key takeaways of this study, doctor? Well, the key takeaways, uh, uh, Sneha, are that patients who recover from COVID-19 don't recover with normal lung. They actually have some degree of scarring <coughs> and residual damage, which may continue much beyond their acute illness. We do not know if they will, uh, we know actually that they will never be, uh, not all of them will ever become normal. In other words, some people are going to live with residual lung damage for the rest of their lives. Uh, so that is the key message. And also what was concerning in our study is that the degree of damage was more severe in the Indian population than what we saw in the Chinese population and the European population. <coughs> these were the two populations uh, in which these studies have been previously done. So that was a bit of a concern for us. In fact, when I'm speaking to you, I myself seem to be coughing. I wonder if I need to be going to the test. And quite frankly, with the study, that only that seems to be one suggestion. But, you know, is there any correlation between comorbidity and COVID in your study? Could, could you find anything during, during or pre-COVID, for that matter, with respect to comorbidity? Yeah, well... Uh, we also showed, we also demonstrated that our patients had uh, much higher comorbidities than other populations. So in our population, <clears throat> an astounding 72% of the patients had comorbidities. So comorbidities include diabetes, hypertension, chronic respiratory disease. So in some ways, at face value, it looked like we had a sicker population uh, than the, let's say, the, the Chinese study. So the average age of both the populations was the same. Their, their population also was 48 uh, years and ours also was around that. And uh, their comorbidity was 40% and ours was 72%. So in some ways, I wonder if that may also contribute to the worse lung function and other impact that our population had. All right. Now, if you are saying that Indians are the most severely impacted, has there been any cross-country comparison study that this has been based on? Could you give us details about that? Yeah. So we can only compare with published data. So at the time... Uh, and after that, after about a year and a half, as we followed the literature, there have been studies only from China and from Europe. And our comparison is with this data. So compared to all the studies published, the degree of lung impairment as measured by sensitive lung function tests is significantly higher in ours. We had 44% showing impairment of what is called diffusing capacity, which is probably the most sensitive of the lung function abnormalities. Uh, so, and there, were, there are other things. There is something called restrictive defect, which is essentially a shrunk lung that was there in 35%, and obstructive lung disease, which was in 8%, is really uh, a blockade and free passage of air into the lungs. So these were the abnormalities that uh, we encountered in very late terms. All right. Now, for our viewers who are listening to you, particularly those who have recovered from COVID, what would you say they should be doing? What should they do? Yeah. 
so obviously they need to do annual checkups particularly the elderly so that that's a uh, that's a given that everybody knows in the context of this study i would say that uh, anyone who has had covid if they find that they are uh, they have respiratory symptoms uh, such as shortness of breath uh, or cough then it is good to go and get themselves tested now shortness of breath uh, in the early phases may not affect them when they walk around in their house it may affect them when they walk uh, climb up stairs uh, walk up hill so if they find that they have limitation it's not a bad idea to get lung function tested so i would say you know we are probably further down post covid now and so instead of raising panic i would say if anyone has symptoms they should probably get themselves tested right thank you dr christopher thank you very much for joining us with that important study and the details from it we just hope our viewers are left more equipped thank you very much dr christopher